The technical project manager is a role that you may have seen in listings, but what exactly is that role? What does it take to be a technical PM? Is it a senior role, a junior role? Is it entry level? What are the pros and cons of that role? Well, guess what? We are going to be talking in this video with Casey Gasca, aka Base Case, who is an experienced technical project manager, and it's going to be epic. By the end of this video, you're going to know exactly what a technical PM is and exactly whether or not it's a great fit for you. Let's go. You will know very well what a technical PM is <laughs> by the end of this video. So anyways, there you go. Casey, you've got tons of experience as a technical PM. Just break it down to us. What is a technical PM? Yeah, so a technical PM uh, is very much in under the umbrella of project manager, does manage engagements, will manage projects within an organization, but then also a lot of the time you'll end up having to do stuff yourself. You'll end up having to do some hands-on uh, portions of the project yourself. Technical PMs can range the gamut depending on what the organization needs, depending on what your specializations are. So there are different different specializations for technical PM, just like there are different specializations for technical roles in general. So my experience was a little bit more of the security technical, the IT technical. So I brought that into my role as a technical PM. I managed a team of red teamers as well as helped facilitate uh all of the infrastructure that they needed helped facilitate all the connections and the integrations with the customer that we were working with uh, but then i had co-workers very much data analytics and that was they managed this engagement as a whole but then they also worked with the customer to analyze some of their data, build dashboards, create, find a way for the customer to view their data in a better way. And that's just, just one more avenue. If, if it's technical in some way, you could, it could probably be a specialization for a technical PM. All right. I love it. So, you know, it sounds like there's different you know, dimensions of technical PM based on what you said, different tiers of it. Could somebody breaking into the industry be a technical PM or does it require some level of years of experience? A technical PM usually does require some level of project management experience in the background. It doesn't necessarily need to have a lot of technical experience. Sometimes it just needs technical know-how and technical knowledge my technical PM role was my transition into cybersecurity. And I was able to utilize my 10 years of project management experience with the knowledge and hands-on experience that I've gained through the online platforms, the you know CTF platforms, and just being in the community as a whole to leverage all of that education into a cybersecurity technical PM. So what are the pros of being a technical PM? What's so great about the job? What would be like the selling point if you were trying to like hire someone to be a technical PM at your company? You're like, listen, you're going to love it. It's you get to be hands-on without needing to be completely hands-on. It's a nice, comfortable mix of being technical and hands-on with what you're comfortable with and with what you're familiar with, as well as a level of managing what's going on. And so you do have time to step back to gather your resources of what's going on and be able to truly see the bigger picture. And I think it's a great transitional point as well as a great stepping stone to transition from, say you are an experienced practitioner, technical practitioner, and you want to start moving into a management, a more business related role. Technical PM is a perfect transitional role for that as well. You can take all your years of experience as a technical, go learn project management, go get some, some entry level certifications under that realm of things as well. Even just the learning certifications from, you know, LinkedIn learning, Udemy, whatever. And then to show that you've learned about project management and take that and start learning about the business and then use that role to transition on the more business side of things.
I love it. So it, it sounds like you can have a foot in both worlds. It's a nice gradual path into management, especially if you're a practitioner. And I, I might even argue the, the reverse, right? Say you're a business person and you want to slide into technical, but you're a little leery of your capabilities. Technical PM sounds like the perfect blend because you get hands on without having to necessarily be wholly dependent on that. Okay. So base case, spill the tea, brother. Not every job, like every job has something that sucks about it. Technical PM, what's the downside? What's something that you're not going to hear about until you get in there and they're like, ah, welcome to the party, pal. Here's the problem. It can be a lot of meetings. Oh my gosh. That, that, that's one of the big ones. It can be a lot of meetings. It can be a lot of uh, hurting cats sometimes, depending on what your project is, who your resources are that you're working with, who the customers are that you're working with. Uh, that that's that's the big one is there you can definitely be stuck in in meeting jail for days yeah the worst is when it's like hey where are you with that you know where are you with that effort where are you with that task i gave you and you're like when was i supposed to do it when exactly when? that's that's infuriating yeah so if you don't like meetings oof, get ready or, you know, be very good at sending email, right? There's a lot of tools yeah. now that can help you like cut meetings <laughs> out. All right. So I absolutely love it. Now, um, one question that might come up is what's the difference between a technical PM and a cyber PM, right? You, you know, we do see cyber PM from time to time, technical PM uh, far and away the most. But uh, in your perspective, since you have kind of rid the lightning, if you will, in these spaces, what to you is the key difference that people should know about? Yeah, so the key difference is being able to have the hands-on experience in some technical capacity, some technical avenue. That's going to be the key thing. Having a knowledge of cybersecurity and the test technical aspects is going to be great for a cybersecurity project manager. It's going to be required. That's likely why they're specifying cybersecurity project manager instead of just project manager is they want you to have an understanding of the terminology and understanding of the industry. But on the technical side of things, a technical project manager, they're going to need you to be able to do some of it. And so that's the key distinguisher between them. What are your thoughts about the um, job market for technical PMs, right? Pen testers, there's not a lot of entry level jobs. SOC, there is like as far as like people who are like, oh, this is actually pretty interesting. I might investigate that. What's a reality check for them as far as the job market goes for technical PMs for, in your perspective? It ebb and ebbs and flows a lot depending on how the market's going. Um, and it really depends on the company. Some companies like to, oh, we're having a down market. Let's hire some more technical PMs so we can kind of eliminate some of the need to hire the you know more expensive fully hands-on practitioners or and but then some will go the other way well these guys they just kind of in between they don't really have a special they're, they're almost like dead weight let's just pay a project manager cheaper and then just get more hours out of our technical people so i mean it really does ride that line but there's plenty of them out there uh, a lot of consulting firms will hire technical pms for that reason of of essentially selling that service out to other companies a technical pm someone who can manage or someone can just who can just go into another company and just do whatever is needed of them all right that sounds good so final thoughts base what are your you know final thoughts around someone watching this right now who's like okay technical pm you know i think i'm interested you know What's your disposition on the role itself? It's great. I loved it. I had a lot of fun as a technical PM. Uh, you get to work with a lot of great people sometimes. And, you know, if you get, a, if you really get a good solid team around you, it can be a lot of fun and it can not be a hard job. You know, you get a really good solid management team around you to work on engagements and it's great lot of fun. All right. All right. So you've heard it here direct from the, the mouth of base case, someone who's walked in the steps of the technical PM base case. Thank you so much very, uh, for being here and sharing those thoughts. 
And if you're interested in catching the video on how to beat imposter syndrome, be sure to check out the clip that's about to pop up right now. You'll love it. We'll see you in the next one.